Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to part two of my Mirabilia stash. Uh, so this is part two. Uh, if you haven't watched part one, uh, head over to, you know, my videos over there and you can watch that as well. Uh, I will continue showing you my next box of Mirabilia patterns. I will, you know, show you all the materials for the ones I have kitted up. And some I just have a pattern. So let's start with this Mirabilia, who I find is so, so beautiful. Lily of the Woods, the MD80. I've been watching her on Hawkins Hobbies for a very long time. She was a bit expensive because there are so many things you know, specialty threads, beads, crystals, everything. So, but I got her finally. And she is so pretty. She's so beautiful. Now, <clears throat> what do we have in the pack? So it's not an, it's not an, an embellishment pack, <clears throat> but it's beads. I'm sorry. English isn't my first language, so words are a bit of a problem sometimes. Um, I, I mean, I'm dying right now. Look at this treasure. There's two leaves in there. Oh. There's a lot of those beads. We have to take a look at the pattern. So, oh yeah, I think they're going, the leaves are going in the tree there. Oh, beautiful. And then we have lots of Kranich. Her wings, I guess. Pretty, pretty. And I chose to get the fabric, which is the laurel. I like the laurel. It's the greenish, dark green, brownish. I like this. Uh, and we have the DMC threads. And here we have the rest of the beads. There's a lot of beads in Lily of the Woods. can't wait to stitch her but I'm a, I'm a little bit intimidated by this one actually um, so I will have to stitch some mermaids and some some other stuff before I I start her Then we have one of my favorites. I'm going to say that about most of them. This are one of the seasonal queens. It is Winter Queen. MD13. Oh, she's so pretty. At first I didn't like, you know, the white background, but I think all of them would look great on white opal background. And you know, it says Summer Queen, but it's not. It's the Winter Queen. So here are all the beads. Whisper Thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I, I have a feeling that once I have stitched with whisper thread. I'm not going to be so happy about it, but I am now. And here are DMC threads. <clears throat> 
So we're getting into mermaids again. Isn't this the Bluebeard mermaid? Bluebeard's princess. MD 98. And I love her. Seriously, I love her. Oh. And the embellishment pack. And we have some specialty threads. I don't know if all the specialty threads are for her or if I've ordered it. Let's see. What does it say? It says there are four different water lilies and I have all four. So it has to be them. And then there's three. I have three Krennics, I think. This one was out of stock, so I need to get that. And I will be stitching her on that fabric. And here we have another one I'm going to start very soon. The Gypsy Queen. Is it called the Gypsy Queen or is she a goddess? Yeah, she's a queen. And she's so, so pretty. I love everything about her. And actually, I'm going to show you again some fabric. Because I special ordered this. I waited like eight months for this fabric to get here. Oh my god. So I wanted to stitch her on this. <clears throat> So we have some black whisper thread. Cool. And some DMC threads. I think actually I kitted this one up myself. I hate that. I hate to kit up stuff myself. I don't like that at all. I like to buy the completed kits so I don't have to worry about the materials. And the water. Water lilies. I should, should do a floss toss on her as well, but let's tr crinkle a little bit more. So this is pumpkin patch. It's a 32 count linen from Crafty Kitten. Oh my God, look at this fabric. Oh my God, let's. Jesus, look at this fabric, guys. Wow, I have to stitch her on this, but let's do a floss toss. Because you're here, I'm here, the fabric is here, and I just wanna take the time. do you think? I think this is going to work. I've decided it's going to work. I mean, I 
I'm just looking if there's anything in the dress that would, you know, fade into the fabric. But I don't think so. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to start her. Okay. Linda, calm down. Calm down. So, crinkle, 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 crinkle on floss tube. What does that mean to you? I'm, I'm trying to figure out a song because it, since Stitchy Man joined the community, everyone has started making songs. <laughs> and I was thinking maybe I should do a crinkle song. Mm. Was it in here? This little bag? See how nicely I packed the threads back into the... So, as I said, I need to speed up my memorabilia stitching so I can stitch all of them. Okay, who's next? Perfume Mermaid. Mermaid Perfume. This one is not open yet. Can you believe that? Let's... This one is not even open yet. That's how new she is. MD-173. She's so pretty and you guys, I think most of you who like Mirabilia at least, has seen the conversion in black and gold. Oh my god. I hope she will, you know, release that um yeah, that color combination. I would pay money for that. And here's the fabric. It's water lily linen. Very basic. Some beautiful greens in her. You know, she's beautiful just the way she is. A lot of water lilies. We love that. And some beautiful embellishment pack here. I like these ones. Very nice. She's pretty. Here we have a favorite, the queen bee. And she has one queen bee, and then she has the mother bee or something, and the princess bee in Nora Corbett. I just, I need those. I need them. Because there are, they're, they, they're so cool. So cool. And it would be so cool to have the three together, you know? Oh, I just love this border up here. What I don't like about this one 
is the gold outlining. I don't know how close I can get, but I don't like that. But maybe it will look good anyway. So I have the fabric, which is the, what's this chestnut linen. That was nice. Chocolate, milk chocolate. And we have some lovely gold beads. And we have the DMC threads. And some, oh, look at the water lilies. Let's open up. My goodness. Oh, beautiful. And one Krennic. guys oh the mermaid of the, what, the deep blue i love them but i can't remember all the names mermaids of the deep blue oh yeah 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 md85 oh, i mean seriously and i so wanted that fabric but that was um a discontinued and then i wrote to Hawkins Hobbies and asked if they could help me up kit this thing and they said of course we can we would love to help you and then she wrote and if you're lucky I might even have a piece of that fabric left in my stash and she did and she did and I'm so oh. It's the Amsterdam blue linen. She made my day that day. It was, I was so happy. I was so happy. DMC threads, Kranics. Oh, look at the thread. Oh, it looks so nice. And beads, lots of beads. And I'm so bad because I usually don't check the kits. I should do that and, you know, to check if everything is there. I usually don't do that. I trust people. But then they wrote to me and said they had missed out on one of the boxes. So they sent it in a later kit. Because there was another buyer who had bought a kit and realized that it was missing. So... But you know, that's Hawkins Hobbies. I mean, they don't forget the things. And you know, they, this is the only mistake I have ever had and I didn't even realize. Um, but you know, they contacted me and they fixed it. And that's just amazing. I could stitch this in five years and you know, the problem would have been mine then. And yeah. If you, you order kits and they're missing stuff, you know, they remember. They, I've had so many things like that and they're just, you know, saying, saying, you know, this is missing, but we will, you know, send it in your next order or something. And they do that. It's so nice. So I love them and I love this kit. Okay, so let's talk about my big mistake. Can you believe that this beautiful Snow Queen was a mistake? Can you even? I mean, come on. I love the reindeer. My daughter loves reindeers. And she fell in love with 
with reindeers uh, when we were up north in Sweden. And we had, the, had these animals running around, you know, where we lived, you know, just outside the window. It was amazing. And we went to this place where they had tame rain, uh, reindeers. So we could pet them and give them food. Yeah. So I really like this one. But when <laughs> when I ordered, I wanted the, 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 the winter queen. But I wrote snow queen. So I got this big expensive kit and I was like damn that was expensive but when I got it I was like oh okay but I don't regret it I've seen this stitched up so many times and it's beautiful so I'm happy about my mistake here we have all the DMCs and I'm sorry my camera is focusing Look at the treasures there. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. Plenty of beads. Just as it's supposed to be, I think, with Mirabilia. And we have the Chronic, the Whisper Thread. Oh, I need to stitch something with Whisper. But that won't be a mermaid. Mm. Gorgeous. Eye candy, you know. Mm, I can't wait. Okay. Continue. Continue. I have plenty to show you. That was the bag. That wasn't me. Okay, so my dog is a little bit angry out there. Don't mind him. And what fabric to stitch her on? I like the little bit of a purplish, yeah. Um, we have a lot more to look at. Spring Queen, the out of print. And I asked Hawkins Hobbies to help me kit her up. And they said, sure, absolutely. And I'm so glad. And she is so friggin' beautiful. I bought it on eBay. Here's the unopened kit. Come on, Linda. Yeah. I'm like that. I'm like that. I can't help it. So we have DMCs here. <clears throat> and then so here's a DMC, I guess. Some DMC which is discontinued and it's replaced. And that's fine. That's fine. I'll just have to be careful with the, um, the pattern. So here we have something new, DMC Metallic. Interesting, I've heard this is pain to stitch with. So we'll see if I'm gonna stitch with that or if I will replace it with Krennic. And we have the beads. All the queens will be stitched, of course. Why do I have Another bag there. I don't understand. I don't need this bag.
who's next in line? Yes, of course, it is the Autumn Queen. And what I really like about Autumn Queen, this is also an out of print. What I like about her is that she has dark hair and she has a lot of dark colors in her. I like that. The MD45. So, also kitted up by Hawkins. DMC threads. Here we have whisper thread, a lot of whisper thread. Oh, go. And we have the metallic one here as well. And we have Cranix. And it said something with discontinued, yeah. And there we have treasures and beads and everything. She is going to be so pretty. I think I will take that plastic off. Oh, it smells a little bit. That's the problem when you buy stuff on eBay. You never know what scent people have in their home and if there are smokers or, yeah. So, well, we have, is it the tree of hope? Yeah. Also a favorite of mine, a little bit different in my opinion but uh, I really love it I love the colors and what it represents you know um, and I got the embellishment kit for that because it's something I want to stitch and I thought that um, The bees will be the most difficult to get. Ah, so here is my, I lost this one as well. So I have two of these. And I snagged this one. It went out of print. The South Seas Mermaid. I think it's out of print. I don't think it's on the website anymore. I don't know. And I got Stargazer. MD88. And I hurried to get the Santa sent us magic when it went out of print I was a bit lucky there and then we have Miss Veronica portrait of Veronica and I have stitched this one she is beautiful and she's a joy to stitch she's very pretty and here we have the feather fairy I love her. I love the feathers. And we have an out of print. Fairy Ideal is one of, I think it's the first out of print I bought. I, I so love this one. You know, the rabbit and the crystals and the angels. And yeah, it's so beautiful. So I would like to ask Hawkins Hobbies to help me kit this one up. And then we have Miss Christmas Eve, which I have also finished, stitched and finished. It was my first mirror I ever stitched. And I think she's pretty small. I don't think she's one of the bigger ones. Now let's 
look at the last kit. It is my Summer Queen. Okay, let's leave it. Summer Queen, yes. And her colors are so, so, so beautiful. Very beautiful. And she's not out of print. It doesn't say MD. What doesn't, MD 22. So here we have some beads and we have DMC. So th is that all? She doesn't have any, she doesn't have anything special, no specialty threads in there. Amazing. So yeah, this was um, uh, all in part two. Um, and um, so yeah, stay tuned for part three.